Welcome to the Pluto Lounge, where we just chill. Oh, wow. This is a whole different area. If not over. Wait. These markings. Tirsu script scratched in the ground. A crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. Tirsu script, he said. What does that mean? Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. How do I know I can trust your people? You don't have to trust them. Only to trust me. I have not failed you yet, and I have no intentions of it now. I don't need you to believe me for it to be true. Come, let's get to the crash. Very well, you may lead. But if we stray too far that our chance is lost, I'll make my way there alone. Noted. Man, this is beautiful. Feels like we're in fall now. Blessed be you, pilgrim. Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. Hello? Looks like the thunder, god of the dawning sun. Ah, a friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Yeah, it looks like a temple. Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards. But stupid, chucky. Your charming companion would call it a creche, but it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. You tried to buy one of their children? What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well... Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and, once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Please, do enlighten me. What is this? Tradition. The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Githyanki is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. They used to think my people were inherently evil too, you know? Well, yes, but now we know better. Only some of you are bloodthirsty terrors. But if you believe in this cause so strongly, why not help the society prove your point? They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Do you have any equipment worth trading? I should hope so. 
When adventure calls, I am always thoroughly prepared. Take a look. Into the shadows. A very painful pocket. Talking your way out of this, you'll have to defend your actions the old fashioned. Whoops. <laughs> we left the stair. Nothing yet. good can come of it unless it is contained. Why? What path lies before me? for me. What the hell are these things? 
what little deformed cats but like cat bunny crossbreeds what the... okay okay magic on these things either. some AoE. I guess granted I'm not supposed to use magic on them, but... so much damage. Well, I guess if I'm not supposed to use magic. Still breathing, despite everything. Those got some real ultra instinct going on. Dancing on these fools. Oh, he turns invisible when he gets a kill. I forgot about that. It's like, what the hell is going on? Just even healing myself. Oh, damn. What did 
that's no bueno. I got dicey. Better not be cursed. I am enjoying our walks together. Aren't you, Dan? Um, sure. In silence. Guardian of Faith? What the hell is that? Guardian of Faith spell, and a remarkably long lasting one at that. What's a spell? I 
Ah, so that triggered it, huh? Come on, that is four eighty five percent misses, man. That is so I frustrating. Catch my breath. are like vultures.
stand in my way. At least we got one of them. Such a disadvantage, but I learned a new thing. I get to disengage. With ease. Wow. Well, that was fantastic. Left. You're teasing me. I will ascend. In my best interest. It's like might as well take. We need to reduce the numbers as much as possible. Blood comes easy these days. I can dig it. Dull moment.
these mortals be? Time to strike. Damn. Alright, that got a little bit dicey. <laughs> now that I don't have my healer. I think I need to switch up my build just a little bit. I swear the music is kind of creepy. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. Quickly! Stand down, Gish. Is it not Vlacket's command to welcome her faithful? I expected no visitors, faithful or otherwise. Why have you come? We seek the Sathisk. Show me the way. You are infected! A gate thrall is something to eradicate, not reason with. The faithful may be purified. This is Vlacket's protocol. Fine. Let the Gustil carry out your fate. Report to the infirmary at once. And step carefully. Crescia like watches you. Word on the search for the artifact, Rusty. And loose words are food for gay spies. You should know better. Forgive me. We have not been visited by an Inquisitor in an age. It is an honor. I would be more concerned than excited. I heard they're making us join the patrol soon. The search must be going bad. Hush, Quanny Rao. We are permitted to walk so freely. Such a lack of discipline would be punished severely. This place is as tight as a patriarch's purse. We should have been disarmed on entry. I'm pleased we weren't, but it's strange. No doubt they found me too intimidating. Ugh, blood, rust, scar. Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? I'd heard this plane was disgusting. But I didn't think it would be like this. There must be something worthwhile on this plane, or your kind wouldn't be here. Most metals here fold like istics, much like istics themselves. But if you're so keen to extol their virtues, you can pay accordingly. I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the astral prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us... Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chitrai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. Damn. 
Damn, what are we walking into? I need a quick word. An istic in my crash. You are one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. The istic is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? Don't tell her anything. I was granted entry by her centuries. They told me to seek the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor? On what grounds? I have proof of the Illithid invasion. It might help your Inquisitor to rethink his priorities. We have all the proof we need, and it has not moved his resolve. We know infected flock to Moonrise Towers. I reported the gathering masses back to Tunarath. In response, they sent an Inquisitor. Instead of ordering an assault, we were told to join in this mad hunt for an ancient relic. Meanwhile, illithid sickness spreads right in front of us. What is so important about this weapon? I do not know. This hunt is the Inquisitor's folly, not mine. You are one of the mercenaries we engaged, are you not? Of course. I will be back on a search immediately. I have business to attend to. Return with the weapon, or do not return at all. I was trying to turn it well. Sort of fight. And now you have one. Hoping for a little bit more out of you. Nothing will stand in my way. Ooh, only forty five percent. Bummer, didn't work. Turn that off. Damn, he's almost dead. Maybe we just take this guy out. That works. Damn, she's amazing. Fuck too soon. <laughs> nah, she's still dead. Oh no, you dropped your head. Damn, fear is strong. It fears you and makes you drop your weapon? Like, that's insane. It's like two CCs in one. Oh. Disadvantage. Let's see if I can get her to drop her. Hey, it worked. Oh, 
that's so good. One can't always be a gentleman. We uh, should probably finish this thing off. so much damage like that's crazy This weapon back. Ooh, that broke the fear. Fantastic. Oh, where did you come from? She broke out of the uh, which one call it already. I think I need to take her out. What? No time to waste. <laughs> got hella shields. I don't know what the difference is between all these. up and I guess I should probably get lost <laughs> Damn, we deflected the missiles and still took damage. It's kind of lame. I think we just finish her off. Torment. Of course. Victory awaits. In my best interest. <laughs> Take the shirt damage. Ah. 
fast. I must heal. Let's go. It's like I could take out that other guy, but... I mean, I could do damage on him, but I feel like I can just kill this guy. <laughs> The most important thing right now is reducing their numbers. Never a dull moment. Get that. Swift and lethal. I'll try to take her out. Her keeping waking up my sleeping targets Taking is getting position. really annoying. sure if he's getting opportunity attacks it doesn't seem like it one day I'll catch a break oh shoot we used our bonus action my bad my bad Try to reduce his movement speed. I am fury. I am death. Taking position. Ah. Ooh, critical miss indeed. him in. Damn, nice dodges the staring. Well, that's dealt with. If she wasn't the one pulling the strings here. These boots have seen who would be It is you. Make haste. We have business to conduct. Wait, how the hell does he know who I am? shall tolerate only the utmost respect. This Inquisitor sounds like a daunting chap. But who knows? Perhaps he'll answer our questions. It's never been that simple before. I don't know why it would be now. To the Inquisitor. He will lead us to the cleansing safest. Is it me, or have you been looking at me differently? I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. 
I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. <laughs> Can I assume my compliments isn't coming? I don't pay compliments. I only say what is true. You've proven me wrong at every turn. You are efficient, dominant, courageous. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon for plunging into another. You've gained my respect, and more still, my yearning. When I come near, your odor alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. Damn, always so poetic. The attraction's mutual, Lazelle. You know how to set my heart racing. Good. I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight, perhaps later, but I want it all the same. Do you? Yes, I want to share my body with you. Yes. Perhaps one night soon, I will come to your bunk and take what is mine. Until that night comes, I shall keep enjoying your scent. I was wondering about that mighty lord he told me about in your story. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like. To be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more, an event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Nothing good ever comes from mortals wanting to be gods. Loving them has its side effects as well. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. Try to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. If you feel the Netherese magic overtaking you, what will you do? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Well met. What was it like being the son of a Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the Flaming Fist. Brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe. Daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. Good wine? I'll toast to that. Here, here. Though, truth be told, I'd sooner down a weak old hooch at a ramshackle inn. Better company, and a better buzz. 
You should get out of this pact. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Why obey her at all? What's the worst she could do? She could kill me for one, and that's not the worst of it. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. Will, we can beat her, Will, if we put our heads together. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. I've come to sate you and be sated. I lead, you follow. I am ready. So you think. Let's see if you're right. Gith train relentlessly. We know our bodies inside and out. Let me show you. Alright, let's do this. Damn. Don't what waste a step. Uh, our esteemed guest, please approach. We have much to discuss. <laughs> they closed the door behind us. Alright, they're not playing. Keep a blade so, um... We're gonna spread out. You have something I want. I have the knowledge you need. Then Ah, an excellent choice. Mm, that way. Vlacky's we'll power is we'll put you right here. Her patience is not. Approach. I won't ask again. I'll put you up here so you still have some height advantage. Is that blood? No, never mind. Moving ahead. Interesting times. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing Gaik slave vessel. Chirai. Vlacketh's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. To business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Geik ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Do it. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. How do you know so much about me? Some of your species say knowledge is power. They are wrong. Knowledge is everything. We took an interest in you when you became involved with this absolute cult. A pestilence of infected slaves. The first symptom of the grand design in action. But you are lucky. That weapon you carry is the solution. I have heard it from Queen Vlacketh herself. Hand it over. How will this weapon stop the Mind Flayers? That is a secret known only to Queen Vlacketh. Its significance is beyond both of our stations. So, the weapon, please. Don't give it to him. I won't let you take it. Do not try me. Hand over the artifact or die by my hand. Follow my lead. I will choose the right path. Sorry for doing this. But 
but we're in a pretty dicey situation. Squall! Oh, I hate that you speak the truth. Choose. Your path is mine to follow. We are keeping the artifact. Our fate is forged. Mother Gith, guide us. Your illustrious adventure ends here. Hetasith! What? You can counter attacks with a freaking summon? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my gosh, he can. Like, it's not even a once per turn thing. That is stupid. Wow, I rolled one, two throws in a row? Come on, game. Like, how is that blocking my throw? I don't understand.
Nice dodge. Let's heal up. Play safe for a second. We're not out of the fire yet. the spirit gale.
within my best interest. <laughs> Idea how he's still alive. Days, what path lies before me? So one more turn of sleep. Where'd your weapon go? Why didn't the pike return? Are you kidding me? Well, damn, that messed up my turn. And that took up an action. Oh, you're kidding me. Take those. Oh, 
Finish him off, shall we? Oh, that is a sucky miss. That would have been cool. Ah, oh, he might die just by moving. to kill him. Tormento! Inquisitor Wawargaz was potent. We are impressed. to look upon me. You are invited to me. The Deathless Queen has spoken. You will obey. Uh. <laughs> My pride doesn't want to do it. But damn, we are in no condition to fight. you keep. You taught them well, my child, my laser. Chma Zala Vlaketh, you know me. Erlon of Kalia speaks most highly, as did Achaia before. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. Istic. You bear that which is ours, but are you friend, or are you thief? Neither. It is mine by rights. No! It is not yours! To own something is to know it. That weapon you carry. The astral prison. It is corrupted. For you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the grand design, sent to sabotage the astral prison. Our last defense against the return of the Elithid Empire. As long as they live. Prison is compromised. Kill them! Do this, and I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this, and ascend! I can't do that. The person inside protects us from the absolute. You are being lied to. I will be obeyed! Skva, do not defy my queen! Yes, I will enter the prison and kill the occupant. Use the Planecaster's power to enter the artifact. Be wary of the creature's lying tongue. Cut it out if you must. You will not leave this room until it is done. Barn us in. I'll each step with purpose. Blacketh has spoken. 
Do not leave this room except to enter the prism. Turn your back on me, and you will feel my blade against it. Damn. <laughs> We're kind of <laughs> stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Like, I didn't really have any options but to agree, because I felt like that queen or whatever was going to kill us if I said no. <sighs> Damn. I'm annoyed that I had to burn a resurrection scroll to res Gil because my stupid spear thing didn't go back to Lazel. Stupid bug. to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. The statue starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. bids the setting sun a fond farewell. Still alive, so that's... Lathanda blesses the rising bountiful sun. Well, the sun rises on the east and sets on the west. Bingo. <laughs> so what happens if I escape through a secret passage? The gods are watching me. <laughs> hey. Vlaketh. Vlaketh. I have wielded your fury as a blade. Roared your wrath as a dragon! You promised ascension. Yet I crawl among my own people, low as an asp's belly. Shkaketh! I followed your path. What good? This heart of stone, for it to be shattered. She tests me. A trial of faith. Kalir prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlaketh's favor yet. Find Arkir. Let's find out. Let's focus on why we're here and find Arkir. Silence! I must think. that this stayed hidden all this time. Damn, what is this? Well done. This way. Let's get going. 
Very well. Lathander's light may be infinite, but his mercy is not. Return. Now. Hmm. So the power source is down there? How the hell am I going to get to that? See. Still in control. Just. Watch your back. Give up now. Have I been this way before? The Morning Lord's wrath awaits, heretic. Retreat whilst thou can. So, more traps. I'm not seeing anything. Oh boy, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Aha, energy source. Let's do this. An ornate mace hovers before you, suspended in a shaft of brilliant light. A fist-sized piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting a radiance all its own. This mace certainly has a very unusual design. The glow around the mace sparkles with beautiful disaster. You recall all the measures meant to keep you from reaching this place. The brutal aches in your body yearn to take it, though you sense it will spell misfortune. Thank <laughs> you. 
things in motion. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. Damn. Something. Uh, oh, I'm trapped. That's not good. Can I miss a step? Yes, I can. Alright, guys, let's do this. So we just destroy these things. I got this one. And you shall find me. You got this one? Nice. And then... Hey Zell, you got this one? Shit, that's kind of far. Fortunates. You got that one. Oh, we only got three turns. Oh boy. No one stopped me yet. Wait, where's my bonus turn? That sucks. Ooh. Oh man, how you gotta spell slots? Well done. You could have Lazo with this one over here. Guys, I think we're okay. Over there. No time to rest. Done, guys. I we have did it. Such a headache. How much farther can I go? We endangered the crash and its people. And to what end? Hey, <laughs> matter. we managed to stop it. Such a you cannot comprehend the destruction we nearly triggered. 
All's well that ends well as hell. Besides, it's your so-called goddess that's holding us here ransom. <laughs> Besides, don't forget, it's your goddess that's keeping us here against our will. Don't do it! Timeless space, bounded, compressed in a fold, a pocket of astral plane. Boundless, timeless, like every dream that ever was stitched together. It is home. Oh, so this is where. Professor X has imprisoned the Shadow King. <laughs> hey, we got hops. of all my warnings. Disappointing. Come, we will talk in private. Just the two of us. I'm not leaving my companions behind. Suit yourself. But only the leader of your group is coming in. I will not allow anyone else. Oh, don't look at me. That is all yours. Fine. I may have made a mistake, trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? And now... You've come here to murder me. Damn it, everyone always thinks I want to murder them. I just want to talk. Very well. What do you want to know? Why does Vlakith want you dead? Vlakith wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlakith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. Get up. You want to die today. It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Lakith will be furious to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Lakith's a goddess. What could you possibly know that would bring down her empire? Godlike in power, yes, but with none of the sanctity. Vlakith is lying to her people. 
She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Mind Flayer Empire. In truth, she knows nothing. If the Illithid Empire were ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. But that very power, the power to resist Illithid control, which Blackith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. I protect my allies. As do I. I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. I hope you are ready to face Blackith's wrath. The entire crash stands ready to kill you in her name. Good luck. Speak. Have you killed my queen's enemy? <laughs> Actually, I learned a few things. Your queen is lying to you. Vlakith does not lie to her faithful. Open your mind. Show me. Your mind tingles. Lysel seeks entrance. Your thoughts become one. She sees the truth of your confrontation in an instant. Vlakith Tafkinasin. I see only... only madness. Vlakith bears the full might of Tunarath's arms and the covenant of the Great Mother Gith. Skvar! We are leaving this place now. <laughs> yeah, you ain't gotta tell me twice. Although I kind of want to stick around and check out this battle that's about to happen. But then I'd probably kill us all, so uh, maybe not. Blood whispers. Supreme Kithrak, has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Skakak Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. Are you talking about the person inside? Do you know who that is? If they have not said, they must have good reason, and I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally, protects you with their power. That very power will be the end of Vlakith's tyranny. The prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Boulder's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares' Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. together we will break our chains and be Vlakith's slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me, and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel. Every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. 
The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness. You flood me with this... this heresy. I... I will hear no more of it. Vlakith has led you astray. I believe him, and so should you. I served Vlakith the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazel. Vlakith cost seven crath crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu's slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the ten thousand protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Voss called Vlakith a tyrant. Does this mean you agree? I'd never thought Vlakith a tyrant or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might and I the envoy of her will. A warrior. A champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. What does Ascension entail exactly? Ascension is a young Githyanki's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. Then, we speak the right of Ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. Who do you think is the one in the prison? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. 
Voss believes they are the seed of Vlacket's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. <laughs> Let's move on. Yes. I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlacket's eyes are upon us. You said I earned your respect, so why are you so rude all the time? If you must know, Vlakith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver and my body steel. I am what I must be. Say what I must be, to survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. Well, any chance of sharing our bunks again anytime soon? I'll consider it if I am in need of relief. Until then, I'll enjoy watching you squirm from the anticipation of it.